of day four, halfway through the trip. Nice night, uh, no wind, no, maybe, well maybe Paul seems to think there was a little bit of rain, but I think it was just <laughs> a the- a very tiny droplet. I think, a droplet, that's a new word. I think it was just the dew falling off the trees of the wind. Uh, beautiful morning. We're, uh, our campsite, right, the, the, uh, the sun comes up over the cliffs, right? So it comes up over the white cliffs. And it was just beautiful this morning. Water's still good and calm. The wind's picking up just a tiny bit. Uh, but I don't think it'll be a problem today. Because we're walking most of the day. Uh, this is our, this is the story of how we hiked through Killarney. Here we are. Uh, we've just gone over the first of, first two of seven portages, although the next five are really just liftovers and carries for 100 meters at times. Uh, the two portages were really good. Um, the first one was relatively flat, a little bit of an uphill as you start, but after that, pretty much all flat. The second one, a little bit more hilly, but not bad. It was a little fun trying to get between the two of them because you come to a little bit of a swamp. And uh, lots, of mud. lots of mud, especially in low water, right? We're pretty sure we're somewhere between medium and low, average and low water at this time of year. So, uh, lots of mud, but it's fun. You get to truck through it, and it's kind of fun to laugh at. Oh, yeah. Uh, first portage, uh, it's kind of interesting because where you think the boats easily most easily come out isn't actually where you want to portage, you got to cross it. You know, you know, get on the rock, not on the. Uh... Coming from coming from Great Mountain Lake, you want to get off on the left hand side. Yeah. Or if you get out on the right hand side, you're gonna have to portage across a dam. Yeah. Yeah. So. Which might be your best option. That's what we did. Yeah. And uh, so now we're in what creek are we in? Uh, this is Kirk Kirk Creek. We're in Kirk Creek, uh, brown water. Uh, lots of leeches. We just got out to um, to lift over a dam, and I had three on my feet. One pretty big one and two smaller ones, so just be careful of that. A couple beaver dams along the way, um, but those are just liftovers, so it's no problem at all. Nice weather. No, just one or two clouds in the sky, um, but a beautiful day nonetheless. So, ciao for now. Night of day... Four. Good day. Long, well, not long. Not long at all, actually. Pretty fun, though. Two 900 meter portages to kick it off to get our legs warmed up. And then a whole lot of creek paddling. Uh, first two portages were relatively flat, uh, like a you know, like a regular hiking trail. Nothing um, out of the ordinary. And then. Uh, a few leftovers that we didn't expect, but those are nothing, right? Those are just leftovers. One more portage at the end, 185 meters, um, no biggie. Little slide sl side slope, it's a little tough to get around, but it was pretty good. I uh, got into three narrows and did some fishing. Uh, almost caught three. I uh, lost them all. I, don't know, I, bar I debarbed my hook, so I lost them all. Morning. Morning of day five. Right? Yep. Paul's cranky this morning. <laughs> the trip is wearing on him. He's going crazy. Yeah. He, he spilled the omelette all over the ground this morning. And then he started yelling. And it's been downhill from there ever since. I yelled once. Twice. When? When? There were two sections of yelling. There was like, ah, no! And what was the other section? Th those were two sections. Those were two words. Right, the two sections. Uh, okay, I yelled two words. We're gonna do site tour right now. So, uh, let's follow me along here. Down there. That's the canoe. That's where our access is. Yeah. You kinda come up a hill here. Anyway, so back there behind the fire, that's where Paul slept. There's a pretty nice tent area. And this is the fire pit here. Looks pretty good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Some nice big logs to sit on. Those are my socks. Uh, and then some interesting pieces of wood that Paul wouldn't let me burn. And then I hung up uh, between these two trees there. That tree and that tree right there. It was pretty good. 
Um, the thunder box on this guy is way back there. Like it's a two, three minute walk. Um, yeah. There's a big, there's another big tent area back there. Yeah. You can't even, well, you can see right now, but. So. There's like a little bonfire area that somebody has made that's not an official fire pit or anything. It's right underneath the canopy of the trees. Right. I'm sure it wasn't too safe. Um, so, and then today, today's a big day for us. We, um, we decided not to take the pig, which is the 1200 meter uphill, you know, both ways in snowshoes, 40 meters of snow. Um, so we're taking a, sh a shorter, a longer 3090 meter portage, um, hopefully to, uh, be a little bit easier, uh, not so hilly. But just as long. And then once we get out of there, we're not even done. We still got to paddle. So, yeah. Uh, we got some paddling to do even after the portage is done. And then a couple more portages to go still. Yeah. So today's going to be a long day. Uh, but we have the day off tomorrow, which is good. One thing about Clarny is there's not enough fishing. There's not enough. Uh, one, two. This in three hours is the first lake we've been on that we could fish in. Well, I guess Johnny Lake. Could have fished in Johnny Lake when we set in. Yeah. But, yep. and on Great Mountain, you could have uh, portaged over to Fish Lake or something. Right, 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 right. We just we, by the time we got into Great Mountain Lake, Paul's knee was wasn't feeling great, so we just bedded down at the campsite for the night. Mm -hmm. Anyways, nice morning. I don't think we're gonna get any more rain or any rain at all. We only got the first thunderstorm on the first night. First night, second night, uh, second night, second no. night, yeah, yeah, second night. Uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. So, yeah. Anyways. Ciao for now. So uh, here we are on the 3,090 meter portage between unnamed pond. Yeah, Pond X and Killarney Lake, and uh, we were greeted with a nice surprise. After walking uphill for about 20 minutes, we came to a, a dammed up beaver pond that was deep enough to paddle. Gave us a chance to, to break from walking uh, with that 80 pounds of gear in your back. So it's just a short section, maybe 100 meters if that. Anyways, just a fun fact about our portage. Ciao for now. Here we are on Killarney Lake. Just finished a crazy long portage. 3,090 meters. Way too long. But it wasn't too bad. I mean, as far as 3,000 meter portages go, right? They're all, they all suck equally, but this one sucked. Not as much as we expected. The first part of it was the least pleasant. Yeah, it was uh, uphill the whole way. You really, the the peak of the the highest point in the elevation of the portage comes first, like about a third in. Yeah, after yeah, walking so about bit. about walking after about walking 20 meters, you hit the peak. So. But you're rewarded. You're rewarded with a nice little beaver pond that you can paddle if you want for maybe a hundred meters or so. And then from there, it's it's actually pretty good. Um, it's pretty flat, and if not downhill the whole way, the rest of the way. Now we're in Killarney, heading over to OSA, and then from OSA into Muriel for two days. Two more portages, a little wee one of 120 meters, and then his bigger brother at 585, so. Yeah. Looks like there's a storm coming in. Large storm went over us, I guess. But over there, she looks like dark clouds. But we must have missed it. Shan't complain about that one. Here we are. Uh, we're on OSA Lake. Just across from campsite number 12. 28. 28 on line. Um, we're under a tarp. Uh, the winds are pretty bad and thunderstorms seem to be rolling through. So we're underneath the tarp right now. Uh, hoping to get out of them. Uh, tonight for dinner is pulled pork. I wish you could smell it because it smells amazing. <laughs> and we also have down here some peas, rehydrating some peas as well. Paul's stove is the uh, jet the jet engine. Uh, it's the MSR Dragonfly. Not the Whisper Light. It seems to do a great job for what we need it for. So yeah. in no time at all do you reheat food, rehydrate food, sorry. Yeah. So anyways that's where we are now OSA Lake. We'll uh, chat with you when we get to Muriel Lake, whenever that is. Hopefully tonight. Hopefully we'll make it tonight. If not, we'll have to figure something out. Yeah. Anyways, ciao for now. So, here we are. End of the fifth day. Good day. Long day. 
really long day. We started off at nine, it's now nine. So we've done 12 hours today. The portages were good. I mean, every 3,000 meter portage sucks, but this one was a not too bad one. Uh, it took us probably a good four hours to do, give or take, which is expected, I guess. Uh, and so we got into Killarney Lake and made it into OSA Lake where we got beached uh, through a thunderstorm. So we uh, shored up at OSA and we made dinner underneath the tree inside our tarp and then we continued to paddle. Uh, did the last portage in a muriel and showed up here tonight. So it's a nice night. We think we got another thunderstorm rolling through as you can maple the sea way out there. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, what's on the docket for tomorrow? Tomorrow we are, uh, I don't know, do whatever we want. Tomorrow's the day off. So we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Anyways, Ciao for now. Hey guys. Howdy. Paul and Andrew. In Paul's tent. Yes. Um, we got to our campsite on Muriel Lake at about 9 o'clock. And we just got in. Um, and we heard, we heard this, uh, we heard this thunderstorm coming in. Another thunderstorm coming in and just set up their stuff as uh, quickly as possible. Um, and by the end of it, we're setting it up in the rain. Andrew had a few more difficulties than I did yep. with his uh, with his hammock. His hammock had a lot more ropes to tie. That's true. So, and your tarp snapped. Yeah, or, my tarp, tarp, tarp ripped. So I had to reconfigure it, and that took an extra while in the pouring rain. So mm -hmm. my clothes are all getting a free wash right now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. Well. I just have a quick, quick video. Andrew just ducked in here to dry off before he goes out to his hammock. Yep. And we're fogging up the lens again. I haven't grown my beard out for a week for quite a long time. So. Should be interesting how that goes.